for your partner. And there are a few things that you can do. One thing people do, it's called the Valsalva maneuver. And that is the same as bearing down to have a bowel movement. Wow. So that's better than thinking about baseball? Or golf. <laughs> or golf. <laughs> well, you know, I actually disagree with that because you want to stay in the moment yeah. as the male. And what you actually do, and this works for some people, is you pretend like you're going to have a bowel movement. <laughs> so that's that that'll kind of kill it. Feeling. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. You want to demonstrate? You better make sure you. Wait. You but try not better, to make yeah. a face. <laughs> Can't you do it? You gotta, you gotta do it without the making face. the face, though, right? right. Well, that's. But, right, really, guys. but really, you don't need to make the that's face. It does work for some people. <laughs> And, and I don't want to make light of this. The other thing that you can do, we talk all the time about Kegel exercises. They're called your PC muscles. They actually surround your pelvic region. And as a male, if you pretend like you're stopping your urine, that sensation of stopping your urine, if you build those muscles up, do about 10 seconds of pretending like you're stopping your urine, do it during the day as exercises, then sometimes when you're about to reach climax, you take a break, you, you do that, I'm going to stop my urine, feeling, and Doing a lot right of times now. it can prevent premature ejaculation. Which is really important because it can be really debilitating relationships and oh, self-confidence and, you know, so it's important. And look at this way. One of the reasons that men, men suffer from premature ejaculation is because they're really turned on by their wives. Yes. So that's not always a bad thing. Well, coming up after